So welcome back to electric vehicles. This video is about ICAT approval for electric and hybrid vehicles and what are the tests gone under ICAT. Before we started, let us know what is meant by ICAT first. The full form of ICAT is the International Center for Automotive Technology. ICAT is a test agency under NAT RIP and NAT RIP works under Government of India. The full form of NAT RIP is National Automotive Technology and R&D Infrastructure Project. NAT RIP is affiliated to Ministry of Heavy Industries and Public Enterprises. ICAT is established in 2006 at Manesar, Haryana. So what does ICAT do for electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles? ICAT will do EV homologation. So what is homologation? Homologation means testing vehicles under safety and measurements. For electric vehicles, test will be conducted under CMVR 126 rule. CMVR means Center Motor Vehicle Rules and the rule 126 for electric vehicles. So why ICAT test is important for electric and hybrid vehicles? To get fame to skin subsidies, testing is mandatory for hybrid and electric vehicles. Currently ICAT and ARIA are most preferred test agency in India. Both these test agencies work under NAT RIP. If you haven't watched the ARIA testing video, please check the link below. So now again go back to ICAT. So what are the facilities at ICAT center? Basically ICAT having two test centers. So the first test center having different labs like engine dynamometer lab, chassis dynamometer lab, Transmission NVH test lab, component evaluation lab, fatigue lab, rapid prototyping lab, electrical and electronics lab, CAD or CAE lab, infotronics lab. The facilities for ICAT center 2 are crash lab, EMC lab, NVH lab, tire COE lab, vehicle evaluation lab. So before we go into know about what are the tests under ICAT we need to look into the EV homologation standards. So these are the homologation standards for which are approved by Indian Automotive Standards exclusively for type approval of electric vehicles. So these are the tests. Electric powertrain vehicles, CMVR type approval for electric powertrain vehicle, CMVR test approval for electric propulsion kit intended for conversion of vehicles for pure electric operation type approval procedure for electric and hybrid vehicles and as well as the electric powertrain vehicles test for European standards. So these are the standards of EV homologation. So what are the tests gone under this ICAT approval and uh, what are the homologation requirement? Now we need to look into the component level test first. The component level test includes mechanical components which are rear view mirrors safety glass, brake hoses, brake fluid etc. And E and E components includes battery, motor or generator, CNG and LPG. So CNG and LPG for hybrid vehicles and the speed limiters etc. And the third factor is automotive lighting includes lighting devices, signaling devices, retro reflectors or tapes etc. So the second part is homologation requirement for vehicle level test. So the vehicle level test includes tests like EV exclusive, what are the power, maximum speed, energy efficiency and range tests etc will be done under this EV exclusive. And the second factor is dynamic test. This dynamic test includes brake testing, gradient testing, speedometer, ABS, ABS means anti-braking system, TBM, steering efforts etc. And the next factor is EMC. The next factor is passive safety which includes crash testing, pedestrian safety, seat anchorage, seat belt, bumper impact etc. And the next factor is active safety including installation of lighting, mirrors and horns, anti-theft devices, field of vision, wiping area, 
demising and uh, fasting etc in the next factor is electronics and electrical including vehicle alarm systems electrical functional safety etc so the next testing is type approval test exclusive for electrical power train vehicle so it includes emc vehicle alarm system constructional and functional safety measurement of electrical energy consumption range of electric vehicles measurement of power and speed so these are the tests go under this uh, electric vehicle testing from icat so there is one more testing only for electric vehicles which is the radiated emissions so these electromagnetic radiations from your electric vehicles will affect the performance of other vehicles so what will happen is there will there is an interface because of this em radiation so what are the sources of this em radiations are the motor power converters dc to dc or dc to ac and controller units etc so these em radiation will affect uh, things like tv antenna at home mobile station antenna controllers in other vehicles so for these kind of radiation em emissions also icat will do a special test so that test is called radiated emission test so what will they will do is they will set up an antenna distance from vehicle edge which is from 3 meters or 10 meters and the antenna height from ground 1.8 meter or 3 meter and antenna polarization which is horizontal and vertical and applicable frequency range for this testing is 30 megahertz to 1 gigahertz test will be performed on left and right sides of the vehicle so the em radiation from other vehicles also affect your vehicle performance so wh what it will affect means the controller units vehicle lamps indicators instrument clusters etc so for these also there is a test will go under so that test is called radiated immunity test and this test contains field severity level so what they will do means they will test uh, your electric vehicle with antenna polarization and they will test under this 20 megahertz to 2 gigahertz range so finally icat will do tests for electric two wheeler electric three wheeler and electric four wheeler so once they have done all the testing and they will verify that this electric vehicle is icat approved if the vehicle gone under all the tests successfully they will give the certificate so but why we need to choose icat so they have a customer support of uh, 24 hours and they they always invest in new facilities and capabilities depends on business etc they also invest on development and uh, troubleshooting support they have this uh, hourly booking of lab engineering support from icat so these are some of the main features why we need to select icat uh, test agency and finally what is the amount icat will charge for doing this all this testing right so this is one more question so actually i have some of the list for the testing charges but the list is somewhat old i think it is like 2 years ago so let me read it out for you for safety glass they will charge around 40483 rupees and uh, performance requirement for constant speed they will charge around 54000 rupees so these are the complete details about icat so if you think this video is informative please like share and subscribe to electric vehicles and most importantly if you have any kind of doubts regarding icat please ask them in the comment section below and and i will answer each and every question thanks for watching electric vehicles